Welcome back everyone, Toys just here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are going to be talking about two of the brand new Jack specific I guess you could say the world of Sonic the Hedgehog, right? To kind of match it up with the uh, world of Nintendo slash world of Super Mario. We have two newcomers. We have Egg Robo, right? A little robotic henchman of Dr. Robotnik. Not Eggman. And Espio, the cool-looking purple chameleon guy from Chaotix. <laughs> yeah. These are two old-school characters, and I'm very happy to have them. As you can see on the back, you have Egg Robo. He's a powerful bad Nick. 13 points of articulation on that guy. Whereas Espio, he's a speed member of Team Chaotix. He's a chameleon that can blend in. Whatever. 12 points of articulation. Here's the rest of the characters in this particular wave. They are starting to hit Target store shelves now. And that is where I found mine. So here are the individual barcodes. So you can take them in the store and find them yourself. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, the world of Sonic the Hedgehog's SBO and a Robo by Jack Pacific. And while I got a you SBOs and egg robos here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my Jack specific videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So with this whole SBO guy, he comes with the usual sort of articulated accessory we have seen before. You spin that little thing and it does doo doo. We all get it, right? But SBO, very cool to have a new character on my shelf. That's what I really like about Jack specific, especially with the Mario's and now these Sonic figures. Each wave maybe has one or two new figures. It's very toy biz of them, so it's very easy to collect a lot of the times. He's got some good paint on him. The horn on his head could use a little bit better. The articulation is pretty solid in terms of what Jack Specific usually offers with these, so no complaints there. I really like all the details all over his gauntlets. Those are well done, well painted. Overall, he's pretty solid. The legs will get kind of cumbersome, as we've seen before in previous Sonic or Mario offerings from Jax. He's got a really cool curly Q tail on him. That's really well done and has articulation as well. The legs will give you some trouble here and there just in terms of standing them. I wish they would kind of work on that. That's my one qualm with the figure. He's got big old clawed hopper feet. He's got peggles at the bottom. He usually does stand pretty well. I'll show you right now. See? Yeah, see, there you go. Before, he was kind of falling all over the place. You kind of have to get the arms to kind of weight it just right. Not to say that the tail is going to weigh him down, but you get the idea. With Egg Robo, this is my favorite of the two by far. I'm a sucker for a really cool robot, and uh, yeah, he does the trick. Here, he has one heck of a video game blaster. I love the look of this thing. It's a big, chunky, makes no sense, but perfectly makes sense for an action figure. Blaster, it's well painted. It's got wires everywhere. He has a perfect trigger-holding, gun-holding hand. It's amazing. Like, hands down. Awesome, awesome job with this. Now, with all the points of articulation, you can see it kind of blends in really nicely. On the bottom, you have these treads, which I'm going to assume these are stickers, and they're very well-placed stickers because you can kind of see right here if it's paints or some kind of decal applied, very cool, but I think they're stickers. I'm going to go with that. The articulation is pretty solid. The gun is kind of heavy for the arm, so it will kind of sag in certain Areas when you want to pose them, just keep that in mind. The legs, you'd think that the legs could kick out. I'm actually really stoked that they don't kick out. They simply just spin. He does have knees go really easy. On mine, they were a little bit stuck. But yes, he does have knee articulation. And again, like I said, it blends really seamlessly with this guy. He also has some feet articulation. They'll kind of rock and spin and go up and down. But uh, yeah, just to kind of show you... The legs themselves, right there at the crotch, they will just spin. That's all they're going to do. You have the gun trigger holding hand right there, which is perfect. You got the big jet packs on the back. They're not going to come off. If yours come off, let me know. But mine, I kind of pulled on it. I didn't, it seems like it's in there. It's there to stay. But they will spin. Kind of sloppy paint right there on the black. But for the most part, I mean, yeah, this guy is absolutely awesome. They did a fantastic job. And again, like I said... That's what the awesome thing about Jack Specific and all their Nintendo and Sega lines are. They make toys, and there's zero, like, oh, man, I wish they would have made it look like this. It's like the video games come to life. Never have any problem with developing the character into plastic. So, again, these are two home run figures for your Sonic shelf. And speaking of your Sonic shelf, now adding SBO to the gang of 
anthropomorphic speed character animals. Who cares? I don't know. You have them all, and they all stand well, and whether or not they scale, who cares? It all looks good to me. <laughs> this is one thing where I'm going to go, whatever. Dr. Robotnik and his badniks. Quite a nice lineup for the villains shelf, I got to say. And I'm looking forward to that uh, upcoming Battle Robot set with all the different levels. You know what I'm talking about. Dr. Robotnik's little speed crazy car. It's cool. These are cool. Hands down, Jack Specific. Certain elements of articulation you could be improved on, but uh, nonetheless, pretty solid offering. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog Wave hitting Target Store shelves. Now, Egg Robo and SBO. And of course, you've heard my thoughts. So now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yes, in the process of doing this video, I just came to realize there's a heart on SBO's chest. <laughs> so Rouge the Bat's got hearts. SBO's got hearts. There's just love everywhere. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.